so thinking for example if i would be the representative of the mexican government if i would have been the one working at la secretaria de gobernación or not sec not the secretary of international relationship but maybe two relaciones exteriores which is part of the same it used to be only a few if i would be one of those representatives be employed by the government i would demand to travel to get to know i would demand from the government to pay expensive expenses to get knowledgeable and it is very simple actually if i look at it closer because mexico has been organized to different sections because that's what you would like to know like in any geographic class that tell you well here we have the mountains it's called la sierra and goes all the way up to you know the states and on and on and here we got the desert and here we got the tropical parts they also should know about the cultural parts because they do know people who work there they do know here we have indigenous and they speak this type of indigenous language and here we have those other indigenous And for those who do not know, it's all in Haines because there's all these folkloric dances, which of course you can get the whole full scoop, just like in a playlist from the whole country, if you go to various artists, to this one night event of folkloric dances. They tell you regional dances from all over the place. It is very simple to get a guide and understand a little bit where to go and what to look for as a general like overlook in Mexico and it's such a diversity I mean just consider that the people in the south they're like half the size from the people of the north just by size statue and three times as dark skinned <laughs> I mean it's the it, so that I mind, but there is something about it. I would demand to be, you know, expensed to get to know the country I am supposed to be representing. And in a way, I actually did that without expenses, <laughs> travel. And I did it in the most exquisite ways in which I did it in so very many different ways that I would travel almost like Jesus, like what could that be? I I would literally, you know, of course a good a good boss knows how to delegate. But here's the event where you come with people who actually don't tell you what's in the tourist guide, but they go and ask the people from the kitchen where do the lo do the lo where do the locals eat? to get to know the area, real area. Where do the people eat? Or just go where the people are, which is not in any tourist area. And then find the tourist area and compare. In a way I did it, like when I went to, when I worked at the Hotel Sonarosa for a very short amount of time, as public relation, whatever not, Yeah, I got the manager title. Nice. <laughs> Respect it. But what I did is, and it wasn't my job, but it was. I felt it was my job. Out of my own idea. I went, I traveled the whole hotel. I looked everything up, everything. The room, I did a complete room inspection. I got to know everything. Because I think it's my job. To get to know everything. If I wish to represent And this I differ, I don't think we have that in the States. It's like pretty much a, a vast nation, which everything is just the same. Strip mall after strip mall after strip mall after fast food after, it's all the same. Yeah, so what is there? Okay, so what's different about this city and the other? Well, nothing. And what is distinguishing any other city? Well, there is the opera, for example. And the museum. And certain cities have those. Yeah, New York, Washington, San Francisco. 
that's LA. LA only has Hollywood, right? <laughs> LA did. <laughs> they don't even have. <laughs> There's one in San Diego, though, <laughs> and in Houston, too. <laughs> Yeah, in Mexico City and Guanajuato and uh, I don't know, Guadalajara, they have theaters, it's not an opera, but yes. But not in the southeast, there's nothing going on there, nothing in the southeast of the country of Mexico. And of course, Miami governed by gusanos, there's no opera there either. And lament, lamentablemente, lastima, lastima, and really pitiful and sorrowful and sadly there's not even a great salsa spot I didn't find one I don't want to tell you but Miami seems like a bit like a large little pueblo but it's very large and has more modern buildings I'm talking cultivation cultivation and let's say you go to the east coast of the United States where do you get culture other than in New York and yeah, DC because it's nearby or Pittsburgh. I know about it because I knew people who work there in opera. So there's not much to get to know in, in the States, it's such a tourist zoning because I'm talking people here, mi gente. I'm talking mi gente, estoy hablando mi gente. When I say tourists or, or not tourists, it's mi gente. Your culture, your food, your language, your non-spoken language, your underneath language, your stab in the back language. And that's very different in every part there. And in the States, it's just the same. Because we don't need to go to learn about Americans. We don't need to go watch the Niagara Falls or the the monument with the, what is that? Four presidents cast in stone. We don't even need to lose an arm in Utah. And yeah, well, Grand Canyon, maybe it's a must to have a look at that, just to know what's going on. And when you have seen that, you know pretty much three or four states up north too. It's like the same. Some more red than the others. I'm talking about the rocks. And honestly, you go to Pacific coastline, there's nothing, not much going on. It's just more of the same. And the in most enticing part, besides the ocean watching it, is the redwood forest. And there's nothing else. There is no nice lodge, there is no beautiful hotels, small or large. There is no food. You barely get a burger when you go up, like, still in California. Barely. And who goes to San Francisco Opera? The seats are small. It's uncomfortable. I don't miss anything. But Europe had its, has had its spice. I do this constantly and like right now I always think about things and like it's like I travel the scenery of whatever I'm talking about or thinking about and right now I'm traveling the scenery of the map of the earth so to speak I mean just America and Europe yeah as a continent I'm, I'm navigating it see what else is there yeah how interesting right listening to Udo Lindenberg and the two songs in American, I was actually wondering why are those songs in English or half English or a little bit of English? Why is American issue? Johnny Controletti, Chicago and let's go to Zone Puts in Las Vegas. How interesting. Well, I got the idea. It's how impressive the songs actually have kind of the core in its core, right? <laughs> 